Rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in. Here's a breakdown of the severe weather threats that we can expect late tonight into their day on Wednesday, or at least during the early morning hours on Wednesday. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour, the primary concern, but tornadoes cannot be entirely ruled out. Large hail also a possibility and then flash flooding also is a threat as well, but especially into deep east Texas. And as we go throughout the rest of this week, when the severe weather threat goes away, the flash flooding threat uh, will continue as we see a steady rain in deep east Texas. More on that in just a bit. We do have a risk of a significant tornado defined as EF2 or stronger uh, potential in the red shaded area from Linden to Jefferson, Longview, Gilmer up to Pittsburgh, Mount Vernon, and then Quitman, Mineola, and even the Lindale area as well well, so we need to make sure that uh, you are staying weather aware as we head throughout uh, the uh, overnight hours tonight and really important to have also uh, ways to receive weather alerts that can wake you up in the middle of the night like the East Texas Storm Team app provided you have your notifications on and the volume up. Uh, you should be able to wake up to that and also a NOAA weather radio sounds a really loud alarm uh, to wake you up as well. Now here's what Futurecast has by five o'clock. We could see some isolated activity developing, but the threat for storms during the daytime is low. It's not until the overnight hours when we'll see th thunderstorms really start to fire up across the area along a broken line heading into five o'clock in the morning. You can see some in pretty intense thunderstorm development out there. So by this time tomorrow, we'll be dealing with the threat for severe weather, which will continue continue through the early morning hours, but by 7, 8 o'clock, the severe weather threat will diminish, but thunderstorms will continue, and that will be the case as we head throughout the day on Wednesday, primarily into deep east Texas. Back to today, though, high temperatures will be climbing to the middle and upper 80, so it will be another warm day in store for us with a south wind at 25 miles per hour, so it will also be breezy. Normal high temperature now up to 75 degrees, but look at this big drop in the temperatures that we are going to see through the remainder of this week. We see those highs only in the low 60s Thursday and Friday. It's going to be very cold for this time of the year by the end of this work week, so uh, still do not hang up the winter jackets just yet because it's going to be pretty chilly Thursday and Friday, and then we'll warm up again heading into the weekend. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, we'll see some scattered showers continuing through the rest of this week in those northern areas. The rain will be more scattered in nature. We are going to see those high temperatures as we uh, warm up as we dry out for the weekend. Easter Sunday is looking dry with highs in the upper 70s. For deep east Texas, it's a more steady rain into Thursday and Friday as well, so that could lead to a flooding threat that we'll have to watch for after we get past this severe weather threat late tonight into Wednesday. I'll